Yeah, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you are welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. Let us still go back and revisit the case of River State political crisis. Honestly speaking, the current video I saw, ah, what a shame of a political class. We're going to take a look at this one. So now people, papa and mama be this. So, but don't get it twisted in case you forgot. Don't forget they are God, they are God Almighty, the wicked wicked. Say this about them. I bought the phone for all of them, all of them. Oh, yeah, what mm -hmm. saying. I said, I bought look, when the team, I bought the phone. I'm not hiding it. I gave them. <laughs> That is why some men and women gathered like this to disgrace themselves. And these are the kind of people that comes out to become your political leaders. They will become your legislators, your lawmakers. Why would I call them lawmakers? Lawbreakers. Because that is their designate. The rightful designate for their character. Hmm? These are the kind of people that occupy sensitive positions. In the public affairs, these are the people that take decisions that affects you. What do you think will become the outcome? Bad governance. That is why it will never be well in Nigeria. At every level, it is happening at the federal. It is happening at the state. It's, in fact, the state is even worse than the federal. Because when you are considering what is happening in River State, you just assume. Just like the president will just one day decide to frustrate the activities of the National Assembly by coming one day to shut it down, demolishing it, and relocating them to his office where he will be monitoring their activities. This is the kind of democracy we have in this country. But come to think of it, these are two wrongs can, that can never make a right, both from Fubara Angulo, Mwike Angulo, and the whole of this madness. Because there are principles of rule of law, especially under democracy. But you know what? Nigeria doesn't practice democracy. What we have is democracy, and that's exactly what they're exhibiting. That is, you know how they all get into power. You know how we shun out these characters in the name of public servants in the name of elected politicians i'm just saying it so that you nigerians will know the source of your problem so you stop running from pillar to post seeking for deliverance looking for witches and wizard that is bewitching your business and making life difficult for you man the biggest witches and wizard in this country are the political class and these are their faces they are the ones that make laws that targets your livelihood that targets your social life that targets even your spiritual life you understand that you understand that now abi these people had become a manesh a leech on the lives of Nigerian people, but unfortunately, the Nigerian people have not realized this, and I will keep on on this campaign until they realize that they are victims of bad governance, orchestrated okay, by these characters whom they support during elections. So you understand the importance of what GGM is doing on this platform to reawaken the consciousness of the Nigerian people to know that ultimately now they be victims of their actions or inactions during political era because now then did they use to get into power politicians don't rig election by themselves they don't carry ballot box by themselves it is people like you that goes out there to do the dirty job for them and then they'll turn around and make your lives more miserable What's your take on this river state issue? Drop it on the comments and keep sharing it because it is hitting target. Nigerian people are getting the message. Perhaps next time they will do the needful.
please help me share this video like it as well so that more people will see this and subscribe for more videos bye bye for now